<laughs> oh, he's so happy, isn't he, Guy Wem? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, Katsy, how's it going, man? Oh, hi, Fred. How's it going, man? Yeah, pretty good. I'm pretty tired up from all the rooting with Baz and Patricia and all. Hey, listen, Fred, have you seen Baz and Patricia? Ah, uh, yeah, they said they were going on holiday or something. I don't know where. Holiday? Yeah. Hmm. That's a bit weird. Yeah, it's a bit weird, Holmes. Holmes? Ah, uh, I mean, Governor. Fred, are you sure you're not Seal? Seal, no, I'm not Seal, but I will tell you my backstory. Uh, do we have to? We have to, because the intro, you know. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Many, many years ago, me and Willy Willy woke up on a hospital bed with no memory of who we were. Hey! <sighs> Where am I? Who am I? What am I? I, 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 I could not walk. I, 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 I. Oh no, my wig. I, I. And had very big troubles to impose. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Same with Billy Billy. Billy Billy? But, uh, I mean, Willy Willy, yeah. Willy Willy. Ah, ah. We struggled for many years, but eventually, we gained our ability to walk again. I can walk! I can walk! But strangely enough, I had psychic abilities. I could see dead people. Huh? Patrick Swayze? What are you doing here? Oh, that's right, you're a ghost. Oh, I must be psychic. Oh. Gazzy, Gazzy, you gotta help me, man. <gasps> Pato, what's the matter? Patricia, she's taking everything. My Barnsley collection, all the, my posters, and all my milk crates too. Huh? She's taking everything? Oh my god. My sovereign. My gold. Oh my gold. Where's my gold? Oh my god. Ah! 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 No! Oh, where's my gold? Ah! Ah! She's taken my bloody gold! I'm a suffer! Ay, 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 Patricia! Oh, Baz, you leave, you disappear! Where's my gold and suffer? Ah, I can't deal with this right now, I'm going prospecting. Ah, you go prospecting! Ah! Okay, what's your full name? Gadsy here, Buckshot Prospector. I hope you're well and I hope life is treating you well. I've come to a spot. I've been out exploring the last few days, trying to locate another area to maybe metal detect and explore for a bit of gold. I'm a bit puffed after doing all that sick breaking, Aussie breaking. I came to this spot just to look around and something caught my eye straight away when I was here. I've been finding these old buckets. They're very old buckets. I think they might be old timers buckets, but they're everywhere all through this whole section. So I'm just trying to work out if this was maybe a site where they maybe used to dump rubbish or something. I have dug up a few targets already and they've been just junk and a bit modern. But um, yeah, I did find a bottle uh, when I was out here yesterday, just walking around. There is glass around here and obvious bits of, um, old junk so yeah we'll see how we go you can tell spring's coming because you can smell the waddle in the air there's a waddle there's a bee on the waddle look at him he's so happy he's like, oh so much pollen i'm so happy now i can do my job so yeah um <laughs> it's the weather's warming up and i'm happy about that soon enough it's gonna be spring i'll just pick up all my stuff that i dropped whilst i was doing those sick breaking moves <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get to it. I just noticed something in the ground. See that? You got a bottle sticking up. No, it's not a full bottle. Let's get to the deck. That had to be Got the water on this. Wow. 
bees are going off here. Having a beer day. You can hear their wings. That's a bit scary. I'm just looking around here. I've got a signal back there, but I'm just having a bit of an explore. Anyway, back to this target. We'll have a look at this and see what we've got. I'm doing a big hole because I'm finding that every time I do a dig, I'm always off a bit. Yeah, it's one of those buckets. As you can hear, it's just going nuts. What is it? I think it's some toothpaste. Nah. That looks like it's probably 70s era. Uh, 70s kind of stuff, hey? Mm. I don't know if it's worth actually detecting this if we're getting 70 zero junk deep. All this junk here, I really think this is probably a bit too modern for my liking. I mean, look how high I'm holding the detector. Yeah, I'm not going to have much luck here, I don't think. So. What I'm going to do is get my prospecting gear and we're going to go down to a creek nearby. Anyway, let's get down to this creek and see if we can actually access it. Because I can't really tell from our Google Maps if it's accessible or not. We might be dealing with blackberries. Well, the terrain abruptly changed from being very easy to walk to a hell track. I can see the creek down there. It's covered in blackberries. Through the water I go. How am I going to be able to get down there? Come on. Right, we're getting down to the creek. It's not looking too good at the moment. Hmm. Not looking very good. Very sandy. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. Got a little waterfall here. There must be a creek above here. And it's just disappearing into the ground. I found a little section here. There's a bit of bedrock here. But the ground is not looking too good because it's all this um, sandy material. And that's pretty much just granite that's decomposed over time. But we'll give it a shot, see how we go. This will give me a rough idea because it's on bedrock. There's no real river gravels, it's all just sandy stuff. Yeah, not big rocks at all. Nothing. Just one bit of black sand. Oh. Yeah, one bit of black sand. That's really not good. Hmm. Looking for bigger gravels. It's all just sandy crap. That looks a little bit better. So I've done a whole bunch of test pans and every single pan has been horrible. There's been absolutely nothing. Not even black sand, not even Einstein. There's just nothing here. So um, yeah, going by uh, this creek, that sandy kind of gravels, I've never ever really had much luck in creeks that are like this where it's sandy gravels and big rocks, nothing else. So. I think my plan now is to climb back up this damn hill and go to another spot and see if we have luck doing a thing. Yeah, today is not starting off very well, but yeah, that's prospecting for you. 
Shout out time. This week's shout out is going to the Foster King Adventures. Ashley and Joshua are based up in New South Wales, and yeah, they go out, find heaps of gems, uh, sapphires, agates, uh, you name it. And yeah, I'm kind of jealous that they find so many cool agates and things like that. Um, yeah, and they also put out really good quality videos as well, and yeah, genuine videos as well. So I highly recommend that you go over, watch all their videos, give them a like and subscribe, show them a bit of support, always support one another in the community, and always stay humble. So I'm back at that spot where I found those three coins last week, and yeah, I'm going to keep on detecting around here and just go over it again because I'm sure there's going to be more signals and targets that I've missed. So I've already got a 28 here. Ah, oh, damn you. Shotgun shell casing. It's repeatable on all angles, so that's a good thing. Let's hope it's... Oh, come on, that's not right. I'm getting the iron, but it's ringing up as... 45. That does not make any sense. It shouldn't be. The iron generally is in the lows, not in... 45s. Yep, we do have something here. What is this? That is. Looks like a handle for something. I was digging up here and I pulled out a nail. Then I just decided to sweep over the pole again just in case. And this came up. This looks like. Yes, it is. It's a brooch. Can you see the pin there? <laughs> I haven't had a brooch in a very long time. I wonder if it's got the stones in it still. Got to be pretty gentle with it. That's the second brooch that I found. I'll give this a bit of a clean once I get it home. Cool. Yeah. That's one on the on the list. Let's hope we find some more. That is part of a buckle, I think. Just thinking about finding a cricket uh, buckle. Look at that. So you can see like the cricket bat there, and he's chicken out his legs, but he doesn't have a head. <sighs> That's my first cricket buckle. Rare. Two cool things. Good rah, rah. No coins. Fingers crossed, we'll get some coins. So I moved away from that site and I've gone a bit further across on the hope that I might come across another camp. So I don't think I was recording when I did this, um, so I was getting a 36 signal in the ground and I pulled out this, which appears to be silver, it's got like a snake skin pattern on it, I don't know what it was for, it might have been for a cigarette case or something like that, but yeah, how cool is that? A little bit more easy to dig at least. Ooh, what's that? Oh. oh, Andrew, I'm telling you, you know what it is. It's a two, I think it's a two hole button. Yeah, it's got some writing on it, but I can't tell what it said, so. Yeah, we got a button. We don't get a button. What's the point of going out detecting, really? So we do have signs of someone being around here, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? What is that? 
Is it a coin? Yes, it is. It's a Chinese coin. Hurrah! I got a coin. I got a Chinese coin. I don't know what one it is, but it's a dynasty. Go on, buy this. This one's more recent because it's more. The bigger ones seem to be a lot more older. Sorry, I can't brush that out too well, but it's a Chinese coin. Oh, I'm happy with that. I got a coin. I knew I would find one. I've got a few things today already. Huzzah! So I think I'm pretty much done for today. I'm pretty stuffed after doing all that walking and yeah, I did find some relics at least. I found that uh, brooch, the coin, and that uh, cricket buckle thing and also that button as well so oh and that silver thing too i don't know what that is i'm gonna get them cleaned up and um yeah but i'll be going out prospecting in the next couple of days so i will see you then and i'm back and i'm really sore because a wasp stung me didn't it <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I'm not the one getting some spicy disease or fly. It was you! It only took eight years. <laughs> no, it's about a year, I'd say. Since you last got bitten? Yeah. Well, no, what? no, since you got bitten. Yeah, but when you've never been bitten next to me by anything ever. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's so mean. That's why it was a wasp. They threw it. Mother Nature was like, yeah! <laughs> Could have been a scorpion. He laughs at my pain. <laughs> so, what happened was, I was putting on my, my sweatpants. They've been sitting in my bag for about a week. Rolled up, put my sweatpants on, felt a really sharp bite. This little bugger had been in my sweatpants all that damn time. How did it get in that? Ow! So you find out I put it in there. Now my ankle's going to get all swole. And it's hurting a lot. Just at the moment. <laughs> Gazzy doesn't skip ankle day. <laughs> There's no ferns around oh, here either. No, there isn't. We need a fern. Uh, right here, it's right there. It's surrounded by blackberries. Can we do some bush medicine? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. The fresh fern frond at the very top, if you break it off and rub the sap on it, it gets rid of the itch and burn. Right. We're going to do some, let's have a look and see if we can get some frogs. I don't know if that is the right burn though. It's probably not. not. I'll right probably burn. end up poisoning myself. <laughs> you need the ones out in Yakandanda. They'll just make a bush paste out of mud and... and my spit. And yeah, and and gauze bush. So yeah, it's going to be a painful day. Not for me. I know it's not. <laughs> Won't be for him, he's got a little toy. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> he actually. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll show you Chris's new little toy. Stumpy. 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 That's right, he has got a stumpy! A stumpy pig! I mean, a stumpy. A stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> a stumpy high banker. A little six inch here? Yeah. Yeah, six inch. Uh, I like size, you know. That's certainly not six inches a in other average. sizes. You know? <laughs> it's a little more average. Just, just... If something was six inches like that length. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you have a third leg. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Dan has made him this awesome Elon Musk high bank. It's just a, it's a marvel <laughs> of engineering. I know it, it probably is. doesn't look like it. The people are like, oh, it's a, it's a. It's a regular high banker. Oh, I've got one just like you don't. You don't. You actually don't. Nothing like, of you, this quality. There is nothing on the market look at of the, this quality. Look at the style. The style that he's put into this. These the, things. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. It's got a, a ripple. I'm not going to say the name. The wavy ripple. The wavy ripple. But there's like there's things that are in this that, that are really important that just aren't on most high bankers. Yeah. They're just and not. It's compact. Plus the the little pump. pump. That comes with it. Honda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to be running his new little toy. It's got a motor. Yep. 
does things. <laughs> it makes make, things it's wet. It's going to make it quite wet too. <laughs> yeah, it will. Yep. It will. So uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna just be painting today because yeah, I've had three days already of walking in the bush and stuff. So we're back at that spot. You know where we've been. Last time I was here, I was digging this spot. Chris has done spots along here. So I think I might continue digging this because it was good. It was showing good color. And I just gave up because I was getting too tired and my back was getting sore. So, uh, right. Yeah, you got a sore ankle, so you won't feel your back. Yeah, yeah, true, actually. Now, I'll apologize. The uh, pump will be going off in the background. So I'll probably just put music over the top so you don't hear all the the sound and yeah I mean it's not a very loud pump but yeah. hopefully you can hear me better you fell in the creek the start of the day it's not going too well wasp ankle you're all wet let's hope we find lots of nuggets I swear the sting's still in my leg it feels like it is Alright, we've got about 15 to 20 specks in there. Yeah! About the same as the first pan. So I've done a few test pans around here. They're all around the same, about 15 to 20. I haven't actually gone further downstream yet, around the corner from where we've been working. Chris hasn't either, he got to a log and then gave up. I'll show you what he did with the log and we'll, um, yeah. If there's good gold there, then I'm gonna come back and get my, all my gear and not tell Chris, I'll just pretend like there's no gold there and he won't know the difference. Will you, Chris? What? Ah, oh, don't worry, mate. Okay. <laughs> now this is the log that Chris uh, found. Uh, he couldn't get over it, um, but I'm going to attempt to get over it. I'm not having children anyway! Oh, oh God. Right, so after these cascades here, it widens out, so... Alright, you fell in the creek once again. I'll put you up high away from the creek so you don't fall in. Nothing. Yeah. It's not looking too good at the moment. So I've gone down a little bit further and started digging here and I was getting good ironstone. Just show you. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of ironstone there. That's insane. So that's where the heavies are. So we'll try and do a pan from here. Yeah, there's all right gold there. I'd say there's about 10 specks there. Picked up a bit. A bit more gold, but we do have one of those little dog two sapphires. Yeah. Starting to pick up. Plenty of flood gold. Plenty. I am looking for that, like, bigger bits though. Chris just got a specimen. A specimen? It's a specimen sitting in his... You're a fine his... specimen, guys. You don't need to dig any out from the creek. Ah. <laughs> so he's just trying to work out where the good gold is. Um, on the edge here, it's only like, what, 15? 20 a pan, 5, 
almost flakes. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, sense. almost. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, so he's gone a bit more into the middle and seen if it's richer in the middle. And is he going to be on Bonanza City? Oh, yeah. That's more gold than what I was getting in the last pan. Told you, buddy. That's where you go. See, sometimes you just got to follow Wasp Man to the gold. Yeah. I've got the power of wasp now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. That's a good one. That makes honey, no, no. pollinates flowers. Yes, but he's trying to, he's, he's planning he's his attack. No, he's planning his attack. He's not. He's, he's not no, one of the bad that. ones. I'm going to get him. No, leave him alone. He's eyeing you off. I, I can see him right now. He's like, yep. He's a good boy. He's having a drink. Yeah, like... He, here's the difference. He'll die if he bites you. He, if he bites you, you've done something wrong. Yeah. Because the other one can just knife you. For yeah. No reason again and again. Yeah. Got me three times. Anything. It's like being stabbed by an Eshe. It's like, that's not even a real stab. You just out here stabbing everyone. It doesn't mean anything. It's not no, personal. No. Yeah. Oh, it is personal. For him, but yeah. it's not like personalised. Like, you'd rather get stabbed by Ted Bundy, right? Cause it's, and survive, because yeah, well, then it's interesting. Yeah, no, and he, he chose you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, what, that's Ted Bundy. He, and the wasp was an Eshe. Yeah. And, and Eshe, Ted Bundy. See, Damn. one lives in infamy. The Damn other one, you can find a dime a dozen at the bloody train station. <laughs> Picking up ciggies My off logic the ground. is irrefutable. <laughs> God. People say that we're always stoned. On, drug free. We Mostly. are completely drug free. Mostly. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not on anything. As I said, mostly. Mostly. Yeah. Well, I, I might have some residual kind of things going on. <laughs> Mine's all fresh this morning. <laughs> oh, that's right. All that, um... All the erection pills. <laughs> Viagra so high. <laughs> High and hard he is. <laughs> I'm a hard man. Hard man. <laughs> hard man. Get the Viagra into you. Get your Viagra. I don't, I don't take it in pill form. I do it in lines. <laughs> I snort it with my d <laughs> <laughs> nah. Oh, guess what I bought at the rock show. That, <laughs> yeah. That's okay, a that's segue, a segue, that was. So let's guess see the I segue bought, in this. Guess what I bought at the rock show. What? So... There's heaps of vendors, right? We're, we're walking around Central Queensland, million dollar rocks, literally million dollar rocks. And guess what I found? What? Hand carved agate penis. Well, Aborted. That, that's a good. Aborted. D- Aborted. It. it was 10 bucks. Someone well, faceted it. And whatever I you kinkies, that. man, I'm not going to shame you. I know. I don't it. care if you do shame yeah. me. I'm proud of that. <laughs> I found the best rock at that show. Someone sat down and made a bowl of agate. Have you seen my bottle opener yet? No. Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> my dad it's had a bottle. Bo- not removing your sweatpants. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a special party trick. No, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> it's my dad's, my dad's bottle opener. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. did grow up in a wild time. He did. He did. He did. I, it's, it's really old too. I don't know if it was handed down from generation to generation. Well, he grew up in Germany. Well, close to Germany. And we know what they're yeah, like. Yeah, Germany. They're into all sorts. Yeah, well, there's certainly no shame there at all. Oh, I think there's a lot of national shame. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> That's more different Austria though. as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, that's a different kind. Austria kind there's of shame like, and there's guilt. Uh, yeah. I sort of just pretend like it didn't happen. Yeah, that's guilt. Yeah. 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 No one should be ashamed about getting tied up. Did you hear about that thing about that guy going to the Taylor Swift one in a... I've been yeah. in the middle of the album. Oh, yeah, that's right. He doesn't even know about the breaking girl either. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling him I'm about fresh it. fresh from it? Outback Queensland. <laughs> Can you smell it on me? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Why does it smell like Bundy? <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't know about the break. <laughs> Trevor's going to send you a strong word at email. I know, he right? will. <laughs> Trevor with all his fine Bundy Bundy memory. can be delicious. I know. What, what Bundy? I know. I'm not one to partake in a Bundy, but each to their own. Yeah. Anyway, I keep working. Yeah. We're just talking crap again. Yeah. We always do. Most of that will probably not make the cut because I just don't, don't have enough time on my two videos. men one camera i mean two men two cameras 
two man one jar. Yeah, <laughs> no, you can you can find another bloke, mate. <laughs> right, I'm gonna leave that guy who's got another specimen to let him get back to finding more specimens. I'm gonna find some specimens downstream. That's what's gonna happen. And then I'll come back and be like, hey, Chris, check out this giant, humongous specimen. Probably not, but we'll see. Me, me boys, me fellas. So what I think I might do is just try and clear all this. And yeah, so I'm just gonna time lapse it. Cause yeah, you know. I only did four pans, and yeah, it's not that good. A lot of flood gold. There's a crevice running right through the creek here. I'm just giving it a shot just to see. It might be something. A bit deep. Yeah, it's looking all right, actually. Then we got a little bit of lead. Hmm. All right, I will give it another go. I wasn't a very full cool pan either. Yeah, it's looking all right. One nice little flake, not, not much else. The gold's kind of average there, so. So Chris is onto a nice little pocket there. He had a really magic pan before. I'm still looking for gold, trying to find something to alleviate my need to see gold. So I'm digging a bit further on downstream. There's a little bit there, I'd say about 10 specks and one little flake. Still digging around. Uh, I started digging just there, and yeah, the flood gold's good. I'll do a pan and I'll show you. Yeah, heaps of flood gold. Nothing massive. Yeah, not much different. I mean, there's plenty of flood gold there. That would add up if I was high banking like crazy. I'd have to do a lot of pans to get a decent amount with that kind of gold. Uh, yeah, he did all right. Oh, a couple I'd bits, say, mate. I mean, look how much lead shot he's got. It's just all underneath. All the, all the gold. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Not you bad. did move a fair bit of material. I moved a couple, maybe a metre of dirt, I reckon, I moved today. Oh, he didn't see that bit, did he? I'll keep this Oh, here. look at that! I should have just kept it and not told you. should have, you shouldn't have said anything. And then I would have felt like I'd Great found another something. Man's police, I don't know. <laughs> so me and Chris are pretty much done detecting today. <laughs> yeah, we're done some good. detecting. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done uh, looking for gold today. So it's good catching up with Chris and watching his new fancy toy do its fancy stuff. And yeah, we got some good gold and I got a wasp bite. So, yeah. I'm going to head back home now and I'm going to weigh up this 
what little gold I have and look at the relics that I found. So I'll see you back there. Zero point two one. Meh. I mean, I'm surprised I even got that much. Really, it was a pretty shocking day uh, with the gold um, on the creek with Chris. Um, but yeah, I got stung by a wasp. I got a bit of gold, but I got some cool relics. I'm happy about those relics, especially that brooch and the uh, cricket uh, buckle uh, badge thing. That that was cool. Um, but yeah, good couple of days all around. Fun exploring new areas. Um, I should mention Ferd, Pado, Baz, and Patricia, but yeah, Baz has run off with my gold and my damn sovereign. So maybe uh, send some likes and subscribes to, to this giraffe. Yeah, send some likes and subscribes to the giraffe so it can go to a chiropractor to get some work done on its neck. Um, go over to Facebook. Follow me on Facebook, join Panhub if you want. You don't have to do any of those things if you don't want to. It's all up to you. Freedom of choice, free will. You've got your own brain, you do whatever you want to do. Um, I should mention all these people, all these people kindly left donations in the last video and if it wasn't for them, oh God, I don't know how I would be going with uh, YouTube and everything because they're kind of stuffing me around at the moment. So. Bless all your cotton socks with the donations. I really appreciate uh, every time that you do that. So yeah, bless your cotton socks, your footwear, your platform shoes, whatever it might be, bless them all. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure and I guess until next weekend, see ya. You could win this car, or all these crappy prizes, on See La Fortune. And now your host, Seal. Ishai, I'm gonna stab ya, yeah, Ishai. Hey everybody, hi, and welcome to the internet's most popular game, Seal of Fortune, and now I'm an Ishai wasp. Come close and I'll stab ya. Uh, Gadget kind of stuffed up last week and didn't put down a Seal of Fortune voting section, so in a week's time you get to see what double fatality Gadget meets, so please leave your fatalities in the pink comment in the comment section, which Gadget will put down this week, and yeah, I'll just see what happens. Anyway, I gotta go and stab some people with my bum. Um, yeah, that's what wasps do, and it's a wash anyway. Alright, see you later, everyone. Bye. Can I borrow a CD?